Alright, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, all that stuff, just news in general. But give it up for each and every one of my gym stars. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ, coming to you live with another video, man. I'm a little out of practice, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all, man. I am a little out of practice, but hey, we're gonna get back to it, man. Today, I don't have any 2K news for you. No cap. I don't have any news for you on the 2K front, but I do have some stuff that you guys might be interested in. Apex Legends had an awesome update on today. So we're gonna talk about Apex Legends update, and then we're gonna talk about uh, Ninja and Shroud getting broke off i mean they did they got broke off like tom it is what it is man and also this mic the sultry sounds of this mic are being brought to you by the new i mean it's not it's not a new word. the neat king b sounds like a professional when you cast with the neat king b give it up for the neat king b hey y'all already know what it is man but anyway check it out one of the updates that came out today on Apex Legends, if y'all like updates and stuff like this, y'all wanna see gameplay, let me know, I'll do it. Um, but one of the updates that came out on Apex Legends today was they buffed my girl, Lifeline. A lot of people don't even know who Lifeline is if you don't. Uh, she was a character, she's a character in the game. She was in a very good spot when the game came out because she had no hitbox, she just couldn't hit her. And uh, she just was unshootable and she could heal and she had to heal, um, the, her heels were accelerated heels. They took away the accelerated heels, so some might think that's a that's a nerf, but they gave Doc autonomy in some ways. Pretty much they just made it so that you can you can use Doc to revive people and all of that good stuff. I'm gonna show y'all a clip, man. Y'all a lot of people wanted to know, so would you does that, does that mean you're gonna be have a double revive? Will you have two docs? Will you only be able to use Doc when he's uh look, this right here is nice wig, and he's playing. And he's gonna pull off an epic double revive. Let's watch. All right. So we got nice wig coming through. You see, somebody pushes him, he drops him. Doc is not up right now. So that answers question number one. Check out the video. This is his clip. Boom. Doc has 17 seconds left. So Doc does not have to be ready when this happens. Boom, he drops Doc. His passive is that Doc can heal people. Look, boom, Doc still got 10 seconds now. So that answers question number one. Doc does not have to be Bro. up and ready. Yes! Doc does not have to Brother, be up. What? That's what I say too. Doc doesn't have to be up and ready oh, shit. for you to Doc. be able to do it. Look, he gets dropped again. Look at him, look at him, hold the door! Hold, look at him, drop Doc again. Look, Doc still wasn't up. Well, now he got 43 seconds on it. Boom, boom. Look at the versatility that, they, that this gives you. And he's just gonna be able to win this engagement. Ooh, get him out of here, get him out of here. He's able to win that engagement. Brother. That's the same thing I said. Brother, what? Let's just take it back, man. I'm gonna let y'all just watch it without my commentary. How do you lose that, right? No clue? We're gonna watch it one more time. Like I said, Doc hitting up. Automatically drops it. That's just a pass right there. Boom. Goes down. This also answers another question where when you read somebody and Doc is there, you don't get the shield. So it's not like no. it used to, it's not like it used to be. I'm gonna show y'all something. Brother, um what? I'm gonna show y'all another clip in a second of how it used to be. Oh shit, dying. And uh woo, got dropped. Look, boom. Passive again. He actually L1 that one. So that was the L1. So right there. Brother. He, I want y'all to see something. Oh, here we go. All right, boom. He didn't He didn't have to drop Doc when he came over. And once again, this is a nice wig. Y'all make sure y'all go to this stream, check him out, do all of this stuff, Brother. man. But watch, watch right here when he's over there in the corner. He actually dropped Doc. So you actually see two Docs here. I don't know if y'all realize that. You see, you see the two Docs right there, boom. So one is gonna heal him and the other one's gonna get him up. And you'll see that guy's health going up as soon as he gets red. So boom, he's red, now he's automatically getting healed. So you can do that as well. So you do essentially have two docs, you know, like the old days. But hey, I just wanted to show y'all that epic, epic double res or what have you right there. I mean, Nice Wig, one of the best players to play the game anyway. I have another clip, I believe. Yeah, here we go right here. I had another clip that I wanted to show that I wanted to show, like this is how it used to be with Doc, right? You come through, 
All right, so come check. Here, come here, come here, come here, come here. This is Mavana playing, right? So she's already got Doc there. So you can still do this part where you can heal with Doc and Doc can uh, put the shield out at the same time. But it's just not like you have two Docs. I think it's an awesome thing. I think it's an awesome, uh, you know, I think it's an awesome thing. I think it's an awesome um, addition to the game. And I love her anyway. I love Lifeline anyway. And being able to help my teammates so when they run through the door and three people are there and they get dropped off, I can run around draw those guys out run back drop doc in or somebody can drop can draw them out you can they can go into a corner you drop doc doc on the face away from the corner boom you're good to go i think it's a good move what do y'all think y'all let me know down in the comments man and last but not least the only other thing that we got today is uh these guys got broke off ninja and shroud got broke off bro i'm not even gonna lie to you it just says ninja and shroud and other top mixer streamers are now free to stream on Twitch again. Now, we don't know if they're gonna stream on Twitch again. We don't know if they're gonna stream on, um, you know, YouTube or somebody else is gonna make them a better deal. Shroud hadn't really said anything. Ninja has said he's gonna take some time um, in order to see, in order to see what he wants to do. Um, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't really know what to tell y'all about this one, man. And I'm gonna tell you why. I don't know why to tell y'all tell y'all what to tell you about it. I don't know what to tell you about it because this is unprecedented territory. We are in unprecedented waters. This stuff doesn't happen often. This is the first time we ever saw somebody get a multi-million dollar. Ninja was the first person that we ever saw to get a multi-million dollar contract to stream on another service. It's just the first time that we've ever saw seen it happen. So what does that mean? Um it was unprecedented territory when it happened. And everybody was like, well, we know that he's not going, like, okay, if you know how streaming goes and you know what streaming carries, we knew, anybody with a brain knew that the hundred thousands or hundreds of thousands of people that was watching Ninja on Twitch, they weren't gonna translate to Mixer. I don't know if Microsoft didn't know this. I don't know if Microsoft didn't do their research. I can't imagine that they didn't do their research or anything like that, but, I can only surmise this. They, they, I, I don't know what they did. I don't want to say what I believe happened, but I'm going to tell you, I believe for hold whole, wholeheartedly that Microsoft was aware that they were going to get out of the mixer game and they own a percentage of Microsoft owns a percentage of Facebook anyway. So I guess it's just, maybe they gave it to him for a song or a little deal or what have you. But I, I, I guarantee this is the way that I see it. When they gave those contracts out, they were getting ready to try to build Mixer up to sell it. There was nobody on Mixer that was getting tons of views. I think Ninja, the only the highest he's ever been was like 20,000 on Mixer, something like that. Nowhere near what he was getting on Twitch. Twitch, you're at hundreds of thousands, 40, 50, 60,000. I don't think that ever translated over there. Somebody let me know down in the comments what was the highest view count uh, Ninja had on, on Mixer. But I know it was not consistently what it was on Twitch. So my thing is, if you're getting ready to sell something, what do you want to do? You want to bolster the numbers, right? How do you bolster the numbers? You give contracts to people that, uh, you know, to come over and uh, stream that you think are going to draw people to the platform. I believe that Microsoft was getting ready to sell it and they wanted to make it look good. And so because they wanted to make it look good, they just went ahead, got some people over there, made the platform a little more viable. And I, I'm pretty sure that's all they wanted to do. So, and, and because they knew they were going to get out of it, they didn't care. And when you sell off to the new uh, to the new person, I'm pretty sure that when they sold it off, you just like it's just like you're selling your debt off too. So they sold it off. Um, they're like, hey, this is what we got on the books. These are the contracts we got. You're gonna have to pay these out, and you're gonna have to do, you know, you're gonna have to buy out these contracts, and you're going to have to uh, pay us the money that we want. So they knew. I feel like Microsoft knew that they were gonna sell this thing from the beginning, and they just wanted to bolster the numbers. To, to improve the valuation of the site. Because nobody was really on Mixer like that. Not like that, like you had some very popular Mixer streamers, don't get me wrong, but there was nothing like Twitch. I don't think we see, we've seen anything like this before Twitch, unless you wanna say Justin TV, but Justin TV acquired Twitch at, for the express reason of of, um, of gaming. So, uh, well, they, well, they acquired them and then Twitch became the gaming arm and Justin TV was like the live streaming arm and the life, live streaming arm and then once that happened then you got um you know everything just came over to twitch once twitch became the preferred the preferred 
uh, place to to stream and you know do all the stuff to consume live content. I guess is what the way is the way we're going to say it. I think Microsoft knew that they were going to sell it. They just said, "Hey, let's post a couple of people, give them some crazy contracts, and then when we sell it, it's going to make the valuation that much higher. We won't be responsible for these contracts. It's just like an NFL team when an NFL and a lot of people saw this, even though they were guaranteed contracts. An NFL team has a certain amount of guaranteed money, right? You got a certain amount of guaranteed money, and then they give they'll give a um, a linebacker or a defensive end somebody like Dwight Freeney like a thirty million dollar contract ten years thirty million dollars something like that for Dwight Freeney or not even ten years let's say five years thirty million dollars he's never going to see all of that money and then you get a big signing bonus and then they backload the contract so you get all the money at the end right. But we know that those guys are never going to see all of that money, at least not with that team. They're going to get inevitably traded to the Washington Redskins, uh, which which that's a whole other thing. But the Red, which, you know, Washington is never going to, uh, they, they like acquiring old talent. Or the Falcons, we love acquiring old talent that just can't do it anymore and paying them full price and premier prices for it. So obviously, that's what, that's what I feel like happened here. They gave them the contract less than a year into the contract they traded they pretty much traded them to another team the team didn't want them they bought them out and then now microsoft accomplished what they wanted they bolstered the numbers of of their platform to make it look like they were getting more when it was just the people that those guys brought over from twitch they, they just completely neglected to tell them about the 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 number of people that they did that they failed to bring over from twitch and now these guys instead of taking the new contract and um taking the new contract they say hey nah i just want my money man i want out this thing looks too unstable i don't know where we're going from here i, I you know i didn't sign with facebook gaming for a reason and now i want to go where i want to go and this is where we are now so now these guys are free to go wherever they want to um where do you think they're going to go i know where i would go i would just go right back to twitch just imagine you get 30 million if you if you're ninja the report said it's about 30 million dollars if you're shroud it says about 10. I'm rich. Right now, I'm like Dave Chappelle. I'm rich, bitch. Wah, wah. Hey, I'm like Dave Chappelle. I got my money. I can do anything I want to. I can go to any platform that I want to. And uh, I just go back to Twitch now and have fun. Now you're back on Twitch. You don't have the pressures of, you're going to get hundreds of thousands of viewers on Twitch anyway. Everybody's waiting on you to come back. I know Twitch is going to give them a fat contract. You understand what I'm saying? Because they know that they're going to bring those guys there. Nick Merckx, Tifu, all those guys super blowing up. While, oh, my bro, baby! Bro, don't do him like that! And then blow the shot. But anyway, um, we all know that Twitch is the place where people go to consume live content. Nick Merckx has blown up since Ninja Gone. Tifu has blown up even more since Ninja's gone. Those guys were already big, but now they just, they just, Dr. Disrespect doing this thing. Everybody that stayed, Tim the Tap Man, all those guys, Summit 1G, um, everybody that stayed is literally doing their thing, probably playing Escape from Tarkov. But now you get to come back to Twitch and you don't even have to worry about the pressures of performing at all now because you got all of your money. You got all of your money. It's not like, even when you went to Mixer, even though they told you that numbers wouldn't be important, I'm sure they still had to meet some type of quotas and stuff like that, but now you have all of your money, cash, money, in hand, in the bank. I would love to see what one of those bank statements is looking like right now. But all of that, it's, it's over with now. Trades up! Green Bean Money Team splash down. All of that is over with now. You don't have to worry about anything. It ain't generational wealth, but damn it, it ain't far from it. So now all you have, and you got all of that from playing video games. So I'm not telling you to go out there and play video games. I'm just saying, just keep it, keep it. Oh, hey, video games puts money in my pocket and on the table and food on the table for me as well. Not like those guys. It ain't no thirty million dollars. But all I'm saying is they have done what they set out to do. I bet you, if you ask Ninja or Shroud how much money they intended to make while uh, while doing this, they would never have said in their wildest dreams, "I hope I make tens." They just wanted to make a living. They never would have thought they were gonna make tens of millions of dollars. Now you got that money, you got that contract, you have that money in hand, you got the Red Bull Studios, all you gotta do is go back home and uh and do your thing. Ooh, look at that hair, boy. I gotta get I gotta get these fronts, these ones in the front to lay down, man. Let me do it like this right here. Let me try to push it back. Boy, I got me looking like Coolio out here, man. My hair won't lay down. I gotta get Bridget to retwist those. But anyway, you you done it. 
you've made it, you ain't got nothing else to worry about, man. But do you think that Microsoft knew that they were going to sell it and they just got these contracts, loaded them up, and they knew they were going to offload them on somebody else? Or do you believe that Microsoft genuinely believed that they had a viable platform and they were going to push forward and, and, and supplant Twitch? I can't imagine. All I can say is now it all makes sense why Microsoft did what they did. Because we were thinking there's no way in my wildest dreams I'd get these guys contracts like this, knowing that if you know anything about live streaming, people generally don't tra don't use platform. I can't even get my people from YouTube to come to Twitch. You understand what I'm saying? I will get 3,000, 4,000 views on this video, right? None of these people are gonna come watch me on Twitch. I just got a steady 30 to 40 to 100 people that watch me on Twitch. A lot of people don't even know I stream on Twitch, but they just don't move platforms. But if I stream on YouTube, I have three, 400 viewers instantly because that's people that's what people want to consume their content so people don't generally change the location of where they want to consume their content and that's something that i feel like they didn't look into but i think they just were trying to bolster the numbers in order to sell it because they knew they were going to sell it and they knew they were going to offload the contracts on somebody else Whew. shrewd shrewd business but anyway man y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section uh it doesn't even matter big corporations um, you know, they do what they do and they, they make money and they, they know how to make money. But these guys are the big winners. Gamers won today. Uh, y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Would you have taken the contract? And what would you do? I'm obviously you're going to take the money. That's not, that's a no brainer. But what would you do? I would go back to Twitch and with no pressure, just stream my life away and just stream and just stream. I don't have to be the premier gamer. I already got my money. I can do it. Any, I can do anything I want to. And then I can use Twitch to just continue to push my platform and boom, we out there. That's what I would do. But y'all let me know what y'all would do. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, and all that stuff, man. All the links down in the description. And we're going to holler at y'all next time. Until next time, it's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Godspeed. Clap it up for them boys, man. And I'm out. Peace.